afternoon and welcome to BBC News. In the last hour, two carriages on a ride at Alton Towers have collided. There were 16 people on one carriage on the Smiler ride. The other was empty. Staff are currently evacuating the ride, and area, ride area and an air ambulance has just arrived. There are no reports at this stage of any injuries. Well, Alton Towers have sent us this statement. It reads... There has been an incident on the Smiler this afternoon involving two carriages coming together on a low section of the track. One of the carriages was empty, the other had 16 guests in it. It goes on to say the resort's fully qualified first responders were on the scene immediately to assist with the evacuation which is ongoing. The area has been closed to allow for access to emergency services vehicles. To ensure the safe and timely evacuation of guests, a platform is being constructed. This will take a few minutes but will enable us to proceed more quickly. There will be a full investigation, it says, once we have recovered the guests who are our priority. And in the last few moments, we've just had an air ambulance has arrived at the scene, although once again stressing, we don't at this stage know of any injuries or casualties uh, from that. This is a photograph that was posted on Twitter a short time ago. The Smiler holds the world record for the roller coaster with the most inversions. It has suffered a series of setbacks and ride incidents, including one that occurred during its preview event, and that delayed its official opening and resulted in a higher number of temporary closures. It was eventually open to the public in 2013 on the 31st of May, two months after the ride's original planned debut. Uh, let's talk to someone who saw what happened, I believe. Sophie Underwood joins us on the phone. Thanks very much for talking to us, Sophie. Just explain where you were, how close you were to this ride and what you've seen this afternoon. Yeah, so we were we were close to the front um, because there were several technical difficulties. Quite a few people um, had left, so we'd got further to the front. Um, they had made quite a few announcements to say that there were technical difficulties. They were sending a couple of coaches around with nobody on them, um, and then they said that they'd sorted it out. So they decided to uh, to put people on the coach. Well, I'm going to call it a coach. I don't know if, if that was actually what you'd call it. So these people were on the roller coaster and they had got stuck. Um, at the top of the loop um, and then as they were going around uh, there was a coach that stopped in front of them so they went straight into the back of it um, and afterwards they said the ride was closed. They've, they've closed off all the area now and they've got air, air ambulances landing. So um, but you, it was, sorry, it was so quite so scary. Just, just to clarify Sophie, for anyone who, who doesn't know the ride, who doesn't know Walton Towers, you were obviously queuing by the sounds of it to get on yeah, to this we particular queuing. ride but the, yeah. the the staff are telling us that this happened on a a low section of track and it doesn't it seems from what you're saying that you thought it was a bit higher up than that is that right well i i certainly wouldn't have wanted to be on it they just they just come down um, and they went I mean, it wasn't very high, but I mean, it was obviously high enough for them to cause some quite serious injuries to the people that were on on the roller coaster. They literally had come back off and round the back of a loop and straight into another empty coach that had been stuck. And did you? What What was people's response? Did you get a sense of of panic? What What, what was the mood around people who could see what was going on? There was a big crash, and as soon as everybody had heard the crash, everybody started walking back. Everybody got off of the ride, um, and everybody started heading back to the main entrance and away. I think there were quite a few, quite a few people that were angry because they they said that they told the staff that there were actually uh, the, the the coach before had stopped, um, but they hadn't actually called through. So there were quite a few people making complaints to say that they had said that the coach had stopped before it. Um, but they kind of ushered everybody back, obviously, because there were people injured. Um, and so, could you could you yourself, Sophie, see that people were injured? We could see, yeah, because we had to walk back past them to get out, um, and they were obviously stuck and they couldn't get off of the ride, so we were having to walk past them. And were they panicking? Um, I mean, they they obviously certainly didn't look very happy. Um, I think they obviously wanted to get out as quick as possible, but I mean, there there was no way to get them out because they were they were too high up. And and what were members of staff saying to you and the people you were with? 
Well, at first, um, they hadn't said anything because they were just trying to get as many people to them as possible. Um, but after a few minutes, they started to usher everybody back away from the area um, because obviously it was it was full of people that had been queuing for the ride. And uh, and how close are you to the scene now, Sophie? Do you do you have any sense of what's going on now? I have no. I mean, we, we we're just driving away from it. We've just passed several ambulances um, and a fire engine because I mean, obviously, we weren't keen to go on any other rides after we've just witnessed that. Um, so we're on our way home now. In fact, just while we're talking to you, we are hearing the Press Association, just to explain to everyone watching, the Press Association saying that four people have been seriously injured. That has just come through on the PA news agency. I mean, Sophie, when you hear that four people apparently have been seriously injured, does, does that tally with what you and, and your friends saw? Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, they, they looked injured um, and the, the, obviously the crash was very loud. I think that it must have hit them at quite a speed. I mean, it, it was awful, it, especially I'm surprised that they had sent people around because they had said several times that they were having technical difficulties with the ride. So they, they were obviously the first people to, to go on after they'd said that. So it had been shut for a, a period and then this was the first time that the ride had operated again after staff had told you that they had had technical difficulties. That's right, yeah. Well, Sophie, it's very good of you to join us. Thank you so much for your time. Sophie Underwood, who was at Alton Towers uh, when this happened, the theme park telling us that this accident happened at about 2 o'clock this afternoon, so still relatively recently, and very striking that Sophie, who was there, was telling us that the, the, the ride had been shut for a time. It's called the Smiler Ride. It had restarted, but then two carriages collided. The statement from Alton Towers, to remind you, saying that the carriages collided on a low level of track, but certainly from uh, that young lady that we were just talking to, she seemed to think uh, it was rather, perhaps rather higher than that. And just to remind you, just in the last few minutes, the Press Association telling us that four people have been seriously injured. We're just hearing from West Midlands Ambulance Service. They say they can confirm they are in attendance at the incident involving the Smiler ride. They said 999 call was received from the resort at nine minutes past two, reporting the carriage had collided with a stationary carriage. Uh, it says community first responders based at the theme park were first on the scene, and four ambulances, the Midlands Air Ambulance from Cosford, uh, with a trauma doctor on board, two further doctors and several senior paramedic managers have been sent to the scene. So it's obviously been treated as a, a major incident, with the ambulance service spokesman saying there are 16 patients on board the Smiler requiring triage, four of which have reported serious injuries. Ambulance staff and medics are working quickly with resort staff to gain access to the seriously injured. That's the statement coming in from the West Midlands Ambulance Service in the last few moments. Just worth telling you as well, I think, while we stay looking at this picture, as you see, sent to us by Kirsty Wilde, we've been talking to another man who was at the venue at the time, and he has described it as a, a huge crash. Heard the collision. He says it was a huge crash. Passengers were stuck. People were screaming and shouting. Now, uh, uh, we've been talking about the difficulties the, in the history of the Smiler ride, which does hold the world record for the roller coaster with the most inversions. And it was coming out of one of those inversions that it would appear to have gone into the back of the stationary uh, coaster that was in front. It was empty. Uh, the coaster suffered a series of setbacks since its inception in 2013, including one that occurred during its preview event, and that delayed its official opening and result in a high number of temporary closures. An interesting hearing from that eyewitness who suggested that uh, she'd been told before this accident this afternoon that it was suffering from technical problems. It opened in May 2013 after it was supposed, two months after it was officially supposed to open. But worth bringing you up to date with the latest news is that four people with serious injuries are being treated as a result of that collision other minor injuries are suspected with West Midlands Ambulance 
on scene. Let's talk to Ben Richardson, who's... Uh, I think you're still there, Ben. So what's the scene there at the moment? Well, we're at a different part of the park because everyone was cleared away from this, the site. So couldn't tell you what's happening at the ride at the moment, but the air ambulance has arrived because we saw that. So not sure at the minute. Just tell me what it was you saw when this accident happened. Well, there was an empty carriage that got sent round almost as a tester, and that stopped at the bottom of the loop. But then they sent a passenger, they sent a carriage that had got passengers on, and that collided with the empty carriage. So they were both stuck at that point. Um, but it was crashed together at full speed. So. Um, and what was I mean? What was the reaction from people on, on that second carriage? Because the first one was empty, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, on the second carriage, people were screaming and shouting, and even after it had stopped, it was again still screaming and shouting. But then. Everyone around the park also ran over, so it, it all gathered together pretty quickly. And what about damage to the carriage? Was there a risk of it coming off the rails? Uh, not a risk of it coming off the rails, but on the passage that had on the carriage that had passengers on, the front floor pan had pretty much fallen off. It, it's, so, it sounds absolutely terrifying, and it. it, it what would it have been like on board? What were people that you saw? Well, how were they reacting? Uh, well, they looked significantly distressed, as you can imagine. It was, uh, it was almost like a car crash. It was very full on. Um, but again, we got cleared away pretty quickly by the Alton Tower security. So, I was uh, going to ask Ben, what was the reaction on the ground? How quickly were first responders on the scene? I think response to the passengers on the coast of themselves was very poor. I don't think anyone made an effort to get to them particularly quickly. Because um, first response, if someone was seriously injured, I don't think they'd have known. So I think there was more effort gone into making sure people got away from the ride than there was to the people that were on the ride. Ben, we were hearing from one other lady who was in the queue. She suggested that they had already reported some technical problems. And you, you said that they'd sent that empty one round to test it. Did, did they? Yeah, I went on to the ride first thing this morning, and when we went on, when we were queuing, sorry, it said that we've got a couple of technical difficulties, and then probably 10, 15 minutes later, the, the ride carried on. So, I couldn't say later on in the day, but we just ate lunch, and after that was when the incident occurred. We're just looking at one of the photographs that you took at the scene. Uh, and it does look as though every seat is occupied. It, it, the, car the carriage that went into the back of the, the empty one w was full. Yeah, it was. The, the second carriage was full, but the first one was completely empty. And it looks as though it's just come out of, uh, of an inversion, so it would have been travelling at some speed. Yeah, uh, I couldn't say the specific speed, obviously, but I wouldn't like to have been on it myself. And what was the other reaction on the ground? Uh, people around you, was there panic? Uh, shock, yeah. Was, everyone was surprised and no one knew what to do, really, because uh, obviously, given the situation, there's not much you can do. So it was a bit, bit erratic, a few people running over, and then there was quickly a large crowd there. So A lot of people listening, watching now, will, will find it a bit odd that, that you're saying that they'd sent an empty carriage around to test the system and yet still managed to send a... A, 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 a carriage full of people straight afterwards? Yeah, there was a carriage. When this, the first carriage stopped and was completely static, the carriage that got passengers on was at the top of the ride. At that point, they could have unloaded the passengers and got them away safely, but instead they, they sent the cart round. Whether that was a computer error or human error, I don't know, but the common sense would say get the passengers off while you can. Well, let me just clarify. You are, you're you're saying that this, this carriage with the people on it was stationary when that other empty carriage was stationary beneath it? Yes, it was at a different part of the roller coaster, but obviously if the, if the, par sorry, if the carriage with passengers on went round, obviously the inevitable is going to happen and it's going to hit the, the static one. And we'll just describe what's happening at the moment. I know you're not near the ride, but uh, what, what's happening at outside that specific area in the park? Outside the sp specific area, you wouldn't notice any difference. Uh, we spoke to another member of staff and they said that they didn't have a clue that anything had happened. So as regards to the Alton Tower staff knowing, it's 
next to nothing. No one has an idea what's happened. So um, only because we were there, we know, but everyone else around us is oblivious. And you said you were on the Smiler ride this morning? Yeah, we went on first. That was the first ride we went on this morning, about probably half 10, 11 a.m. Um, then, obviously, the incident occurred just after I sent my tweet, but I'm not sure what time that was. And it's all gone on from there, so I'm not sure what's happening at the moment. And, and just describe the ride, because it's a relatively recent one, and it, it, it's quite famous around the world, this ride, isn't it? Yeah, the ride's pretty full-on. It's uh, highly anticipated, one of the best ones here at the minute, and I think... Um, I'm not sure. I can't really say anything other than that. It's, it's meant to be the best ride here at the minute. We enjoyed it, and uh, you wouldn't think anything was wrong, but... Um, until it happens, you don't know, I guess. But I'm no professional, so don't take any of my word for... No, but, but Ben, I'm, I'm just looking at your picture, and it, it's it's not a huge surprise that people have been quite badly hurt in this. Yeah, it's... Uh, well, you can imagine it was not necessarily the maximum speed of the roller coaster, but they were definitely going fast to a sudden stop. So um, it was it was like a car crash. The, the loud bang that it made and screams, it was... It was a... Scene. And, and just listening as you describe bits falling off the front of the carriage, it's perhaps rather fortunate no one was injured on the ground. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know if people were in a position where they could have been injured, but I don't know. I suppose it's always room for error. And I mean, it probably is is an obvious question, but th those most seriously injured, one would guess, are at the front of the carriage rather, rather than at the back. Yeah, I couldn't say what damage they they received, but the floor pan was completely crumpled for the front passengers, so if you've got longer legs or anything, I wouldn't like to think it could be catastrophic. Now, we've heard that an air ambulance has arrived. Is there any other evidence of, of an ongoing emergency there at the moment? Uh, again, I'm on a different side of the park, so I wouldn't be able to say any immediate drama, but I have seen a police helicopter go over a few moments ago. OK, Ben, now lots of people will be tuning in having heard about this incident, so would you mind just, just telling us exactly what it was you, you heard and you saw just after 2 o'clock this afternoon? So saw a roller coaster with passengers go round and collide with a static roller coaster that didn't have any passengers on. At that point, huge bang like a car crash and could probably be travelling at speeds upwards of 50 mile per hour, I guess. And pretty traumatic for a lot of people around from then on. And, uh, and indeed, for those who, who, who witnessed it, uh, Ben, I, I'm most grateful for your time. That's Ben Richardson, who was at Alton Towers. Uh, this is his picture that you're looking at at the moment. Uh, he witnessed that accident, which happened just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. The Press Association and uh, West Midlands police, uh, Ambulance reporting that four people have been seriously injured as a result of this accident. Yes, just worth telling you perhaps what West Midlands Ambulance Service is saying, confirming that it's in attendance at Alton Towers, a 999 call was received at nine minutes past two this afternoon, reporting that a carriage on the Smiler had collided with a stationary carriage. Sixteen people on board requiring triage, says the West Ambulance, uh, Ambulance Service. Uh, West Midlands Ambulance Service, four of them have reported serious injuries. Four have reported serious injuries. That is what the statement goes on to say. Ambulance staff and medics are working quickly with staff at Alton Towers to gain access to those seriously injured. We will, of course, keep you fully up to date on that accident at, on the Smiler roller coaster at Alton Towers. Jaws, we get my phone. I thought I ain't gonna happen. Fucking hell. People seriously injured, and the news helicopter is now above Alton Towers in Staffordshire as the operation to help everyone who's been injured continues. The carriage was full, which means there were 16 people in it, and we do know that four. Teenagers have serious leg injuries. Well, our news correspondent Andy Morris is still here with me, and what we're looking at is a very careful operation, a very difficult operation. As we can see, they're 25 feet in the air. This is a very difficult operation for the ambulance teams here. 
Yes, an operation that's obviously um, still going on, a very intense effort here. Um, I think we can see people still on board the carriage. Certainly West Ambulance Service said that uh, the four people who were seriously injured in the front of the ride were still on board. They have serious leg injuries. And a big team is there. We've heard that the Staffordshire Fire and Rescue Service are there. I think we can see them in some of the photographs there. The Alton Towers Rope Rescue Team are working at height. They've set up a, a platform that's about 25 feet high, and they're trying to reach the people who are still on the ride, and they're at an angle of 45 degrees, so a very difficult, delicate operation here. When the four seriously injured are extricated, then there are four air ambulances on the ground ready to lift them off to hospital. Those air ambulances come from Strensham, Cosford and Tattenhill. They're from the Midlands Air Ambulance. And the Warwickshire and Northamptonshire Air Ambulance team is there as well. And uh, when those four seriously injured are, are, are extricated, they will be taken to University Hospital in Coventry in Warwickshire and Royal Stoke University for further emergency treatment. Thank you.